Welcome to Media Pod Smash. I am your host, Jeremy Jordan, and today we are getting visual again because it's all about Tecmo, and I've got a really great Tecmo documentary to show you. Um, well, but first, uh, let me uh, just hold on one second, folks. All right, much better. So, as I was saying, uh, I shot a really interesting... Well, I shouldn't really say shot, because what I was really shooting wasn't intended for anything at the time of my shooting, but uh, I put together a really interesting Tecmo documentary about the history of our tournaments and sort of the evolution of how things, you know, started to go, and... I think it uh, it turned out really nicely. Um, I kind of it was a situation where I turned lemons into lemonade because I brought my recording equipment along over the last weekend of Tecmo, and my intention was really just to get an in-person podcast. And so I did a lot of audio of Ryan and I warming up on Friday evening before the big tournament, and unfortunately, uh, you know we ran into some technical difficulties and my SD card just for whatever reason didn't record it and it was just completely corrupted. So we lost a lot of good audio, but instead what I did was took the footage that I did have and combined it with a lot of old footage from our Tecmo tournaments way back in the day and also integrate a few uh, extra interview shots that I would later get. And the result was this little documentary. So without further ado, let's take a look at a little mini documentary that I would like to call Tecmo Forever, a story of retro rivals. A lot of people think they know the whole Tecmo story, but uh, they really don't. Because he couldn't be here today to witness this, and uh, no one was going to laugh in his face. Um, and uh, no one's going to hit him in the dunce. And uh, that's about it. I mean, it feels good. Well, the action was pissed as hell. That's all I got to say. My name is Jeremy Jordan, and I am the winner of Tecmo 1 and the most recent winner of Tecmo 8. You know, like interaction and like validation of joke. It's like, yeah. Ooh. They can't just enjoy it at a distance. Hmm. I'm, I'm under pressure. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Is this like a. Just a shot you can take without volume. Yeah. I hope this is your intro. <laughs> yeah, it's right, it sucks. Winning the first one was an extraordinary feeling. It was it was something that I really thought about for a long time. Like getting to the end of that bracket meant the world to me. But once you get that first one you get a little complacent and uh, you kind of let yourself off the hook after a while. Um, tournaments come and go and it's not quite as easy as it used to be, you know. People get hungrier, uh, new prospects enter the arena and it's, it's tough. I should have brought my tripod along. Though my trophy does say Tecmo 1 on it, 
Uh, true fans know that this isn't actually the first tournament they had. Um, in fact, uh, it dates back quite a bit further. I got into Tecmo when uh, I was really young, probably three or four, honestly. I think it's the first time that I touched the original NES Nintendo controller and played the game with my brother, who was a few years older than me, and we used to play a lot. He would be, you know, the Giants or the Bills, a really good team, and I'd be the Packers, uh, except the team that I liked in the game. He'd always beat up on me and crush me, and um, but I liked playing with him, and uh, I liked watching my brothers play each other, and uh, my brother plays friends, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of nostalgia. I like Nintendo. I like the 8-bit gaming. Um, I just like uh, the simplicity of it, of the controls, the graphics, and all that stuff. And uh, the game itself then kind of took the limitations of you know Nintendo and uh, built on that with uh, just you know crisp graphics and dynamic gameplay with um, you know season and mixing in cutscenes and things like that and just having that sort of uh, fast-paced uh, arcade style of fun that um, keeps the game fresh every time, including all the, the wonderful fumbles and turnovers and everything else that people like. Um, so definitely a lot of nostalgia and love for Nintendo, um, and from a very, very young age, uh, for me, got me into the game. Back in the early Tecmo days, uh, everything just felt different. Growing older, I got the idea in high school to, um, along with another friend, another friend of mine that uh, was playing a lot, to hold a tournaments with friends uh, with a bracket and cash prizes and buy-ins and all that kind of stuff um, and had a great old time, some incredible moments. And um, it was really actually inspired by the National Tecmo Tournament that was held in uh, Madison, Wisconsin um, annually every year. And uh, my friend and I also actually did that, too, in high school. The new prospects that were coming up in that time period were, they, were, they had a lot of energy. Uh, these, these young folks, they just, they were, they were relentless. They, didn't, they weren't afraid to get in your face. And if you screwed up, they'd, they'd make you pay for it. And they'd make you feel stupid for it, too. So then after taking a hiatus in college and, uh, you know, some years after college, uh, actually not too long after college, got together uh, our new string of tournaments that we're continuing now and just had our eighth tournament the other weekend. Um, and same kind of thing, good buddies, brackets, um, this time with uh, beer drinking instead of just soda drinking, but uh, uh, still a hoot, still a good time. Um, it's a bunch of new faces, you know, from uh, some from high school and some new, you know, from college and uh, mutual friends and the like. But, um, yeah, more great moments being made. People are really into it. We've since, you know, gone from doing it in, in a house to doing it at the uh, Plaza Tavern in Madison, which is where the original National Techno Tournament used to take place and is still a uh, stomping ground for, uh, you know, Tecmo enthusiasts. Feels good. <laughs> oh, Jackson was pissed as hell. Oh, yeah. okay. Mitch, what do you have to say? So, How do you feel? Uh, uh, good job, Jester. It was a good attempt at the end. <laughs> we made it, guys. It's possible. <laughs> I worked really, really hard at this.
I have a hell of a lot of respect for the commissioner for starting this from the ground up uh, just by having a love of the Tecmo game and hobbling it together with what limited resources he had and making it the grand tournament that it is today. It's, uh, it's pretty damn amazing. Let's hurt the video. Yeah. <laughs> After the first one, uh, I definitely had some times where I got very close, but I guess you could say I just wasn't hungry enough. Uh, I let my guard down. I let some of the younger people with quicker reflexes get ahead of me and I got blinded. Uh, I got endorsement deals. I got big booty bitches throwing themselves at me. Uh, I can still say that, right? Big booty bitches. That's that's not off the table, is it? Because, I mean, that's the most accurate description for the people that were throwing themselves at me. Um, and it, yeah, I, I got swept up in it. Uh, the fame goes to your head, and, and you don't you lose a lot of the passion that you once had when you were an up and comer. Uh, I, I definitely, I lost it. It took a lot of years for me to uh, come to terms with the fact that uh, I wasn't the same great Tecmo player that I once was, and um, I had to find myself again. What's going on guys? We are super fired up today for the Tecmo Super Bowl Plaza Tournament 2022. It's been two years and we are getting after it. There you go. This is where the champions sleep right here. All night I could dream all I wanted about all the plays I was going to do, all the cer certain trash talk I was going to have. <laughs> Love it. So really, in reality, it, uh, it's pretty exciting because it has been a long time to see all these people and to have a tournament of this proportion. I mean, holy shit, this is gonna be fun. So let's go. There were some, there's some critics that say I had an easy path this time, that uh, I didn't have to go through quite the gauntlet that I would normally have had to. We were missing a few key players this time. My rival was not in the tournament, and it just was a different path. But to that I say, winning is still winning. Uh, you know, I, I hear a lot of talk from the critics, but, but they're not in this seat. They're not sitting there with the second trophy. I am. And I'll do it again next time. I have no problem taking on any of the competition. If they, if they want to show up and face me again, then they're welcome to do so. I'm ready to take it on. And so, you know, there's a lot of people out there that just talk, 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 and they're all just talking, and that's all they ever do. Uh, I, I'm above that. I don't even really hear much of what they have to say because I've reached the peak of the mountain, I've reached the top of the Tecmo Mountain, and I can't, I just, it's hard to understand what the haters are saying. I just want to say, this one is not only for me, but for TV 12 anyone else who's ever had a fucking dream. That's it, man. That's it. First Tecmo, and now this one. I come to the next two. He's retired. Very good, very good. He's retired. After all is said and done, I'm just, I'm so happy about the legacy that, uh, me and a lot of the other competitors are going to be leaving behind. Uh, from the early days to the modern time with, with the giant crowds and the, the more TVs and more systems and it's, it's just, it's something that has grown and will continue to grow and I'm just, I'm very happy that I've been able to be a part of it for so long. The you know, world famous Plaza Burger draws us there, uh, the game draws us there, and just uh, having an old school gaming tournament like Tecmo is just uh, a lot of fun for people and uh, keeps them coming back and everyone looks forward to every tournament every year and I hope to continue that uh, for as long as we all possibly can. Uh, you know, it's 
it's a magical thing. And yeah, like I say, I think the game experience speaks for itself. The intensity, the the atmosphere, uh, it's it's got it all. Uh, the guy next to you wants it just as bad and only one of you gets it. And, you know, it, it all comes down to that very moment. Bitch! Oh, speech! 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 Uh, so it's my third win, I guess? Uh, thanks, Ryan. Third win ever, or your third? Third, third win of his life. Third ever. turn, yes. Third Please. turn. Third turn. So not three championships, your third win. The third win ever. Yeah. Nice, nice. Some people haven't done that. I'll say something. That's all. I'll say something. Whoa, what about your wife? Uh, the big booty bitches. Uh, I can still say that, right? We, we can say big booty bitches because, I mean, they were throwing themselves after at me after that. <laughs> Let me do that again. <laughs> And that's it. So now you guys know a little bit about the history of our tournaments and how far back they really go. Um, and I guess you kind of know how I feel about my climb back to the top. <laughs> and I will be going after number three, so everyone should watch out for that. <laughs> so before we wrap the show up today, since we are still in the visual territory, I thought it might be fun to start a new segment called The Visual Vault. And we'll cut to like some cool title screen, maybe, if I have the ambition to do that. And so basically what The Visual Vault is, is any sort of clips that I run across, like maybe perhaps some short films that never really made it to YouTube, or some visual podcast things that we shot and it never got uploaded for some reason. Um, just kind of stuff like that, because I've got drives and drives full of that kind of stuff. And frankly, I'm ready to clean them out. And the only way I can really do so is by cementing them here on the internet and then, you know, finally hitting that delete button. So the first thing I'm going to do for Visual Vault is show you a little bit of footage that I shot when we took our road trip to Virginia. And it really isn't much. I mean, it kind of just, it, it sort of just is a companion video to go along with the travel log episode that we did of the podcast. And it's an example of something that I stumbled across on my camera that I'd love to delete, but really can't delete it until I put it somewhere. So please enjoy these little bits and pieces of Virginia trip. All right. We are starting our trip to Virginia. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to another... <laughs> Well, make sure you hit that like button before we begin because there's a lot of great content for you on this channel. Yep. Now, today's topic, we're going to be talking about uh, coding with CSS. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> trying to make that exciting. Kind of nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Yeah, bye. That's really, that's it. Now we're just going to show landscapes with silence. <laughs> it's like... It's almost manic how they keep that up. Yeah. Like, something's wrong with them. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like that. It's like not authentic at all. Yeah. No one in their right mind would actually wake up and say the same thing. <laughs> like, every day. Yeah. Just talk to me like a little person. That seems to be like an ever-growing 
uh, popular craze, like, especially with the jump cuts. You know how, yeah. like, people vlog and they, like, their face is on the other side of the screen then, and, like, mm -hmm. I just, I don't really get that. It's like... Yeah, neither do I. Okay, boys, they're really successful <laughs> and popular, okay? <laughs> I'm just jealous. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, so we're going to Virginia to get a car. I almost didn't think it was going to happen because Ooh. there was some hang-ups. Yep. It's kind of a sensitive subject, but... Mm -hmm. But it's happening. It's happening. I was hoping we'd get to drive through Point Pleasant so we could find Mothman, but I don't think we're going to. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to look and see how far out of the way that is. It'd be cool, like, if they really played it up, you know, and they had, like, yeah. this is where it took place, and they have, like, a guy merchandise. Dressed up. <laughs> like, they pay some guy, yeah. their tax money goes to him <laughs> to run around every night and just, like, scare people. <laughs> I'd be down with that. I wouldn't mind paying tax money for that. No, me neither. <laughs> So we'll catch up with you guys later when we get to <laughs> <laughs> another state. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. It is day number one still of our fantastic voyage through the country to Virginia. And we just passed Indiana. Just like switch accents. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> um, it's it's uh, been pretty smooth sales, I would say, so far. Yeah, I mean, we did have a little hiccup, <laughs> but we're good. We only we only hit like three people on the way, so it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. um, just kidding. Just <laughs> we got you. Just Josh and you guys. We almost pissed ourselves, but. Uh, we had diverted that. <laughs> um, it looks, it's pretty much like you get off on an exit and it turns into another freeway. So I didn't know how, we didn't know how anything works. Yeah, we don't know how these, work, these <laughs> roads work out here. <laughs> so check in next time <laughs> for our tour across the country. What's up, guys? I hate this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's day two, and I don't think, I don't know, guys. <laughs> we're coming back. <laughs> we might just drive off that bridge on the way up there. <laughs> Everyone's starting to look like a big chicken drumstick. <laughs> I don't know why, because we could easily go to a convenience store and buy our own food, but... <laughs> just feels like we've been stranded. Got no sleep. Got really got a snooty attitude from a from a desk person at three in the morning at the hotel. <laughs> she wouldn't even cut us a deal. Yeah. Slept all of, all a total of maybe like two hours. <laughs> Feel bad for us. Yeah. Trying to say. <laughs> we like to go on road trips and complain about everything. <laughs> um. Yeah. It's fun though. See a lot of <laughs> a lot of new things. Mm -hmm. A lot of new sights. A lot of tolls. A lot of tolls. Bring a couple sea notes if you ever plan on <laughs> traveling this far. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So we'll check in with you next time. Make sure you smash that like button. <laughs> and that's the end of our first visual vault. If you liked it, like I said, there's plenty more clips, so let me know what you want to see in the future. And with the end of the visual vault also comes the end of our episode. So um, it was a lot of fun to put that documentary together. Uh, I really went down memory lane, and man, yeah, it was uh, it was fun. I, I mean, I think uh, I'm really going to start getting into more of the visual stuff. I mean, obviously, if you know what what's coming with October you'll see a lot of visuals but I think elsewhere too so stay tuned everybody it's, it's gonna be a bright year for us here at MPS Studios I'm really thinking so Media Pod Smash Off <laughs> <laughs>